In this video, I am going to talk to you about some of the most common signs and symptoms of an unhealthy gut. If you are interested in finding out, please keep watching. Hi everyone, welcome to Simplify. My name is Nirupama. I am a PhD in food science and a certified nutrition coach. Other than making YouTube videos, I also offer personal health consultations. In case you want to get in touch with me, I leave a link to my website in the description box. Let's dive into today's video. Our human body has about 10 trillion human cells and about 100 trillion microbial cells. Most of this microbial population, also known as microbiome, resides in our gut. Now our gut consists of a number of organs starting from our mouth, esophagus, stomach, intestine till our rectum. Our gut is inhabited by an incredible number and variety of microorganisms. In case you are wondering what do these microbes do in our gut, let me tell you a few of the most crucial roles that these microorganisms play. These microbes metabolize and break down complex substrates, thereby helping us absorb nutrients from the foods that we eat. Without a healthy gut microbiome, we won't be absorbing many nutrients even if we eat the healthiest food in the world. Number two, these microbes play a role in immunomodulation which means that either enhance or reduce our body's immune response depending on what a particular situation demands. Number three, our gut microbiota helps in maintaining good structural integrity of the gut. Good gut lining is important to allow the passage of water, ions and nutrients through the gut but to restrict the entry of bacteria and pathogens. Number four, our gut microbiota also impacts our appetite, metabolism, blood sugar balance and fat metabolism in the body thereby ultimately impacting our weight or our body mass. In return for all these amazing roles that our gut microbiota plays, it expects good environment and good nutrition that allow them to thrive and grow. In cases of poor dietary or lifestyle habits, excess stress or excess use of medications, the balance in our gut microbiota shifts wherein there is a rise in the number of bad or pathogenic bacteria in the gut while the number of good bacteria that usually reside in the gut goes down. And it is this shift in microbiome that causes us to experience various signs and symptoms. Let's look at some of the most common signs and symptoms of an unhealthy gut. The first and obvious sign of an unhealthy gut is an upset stomach. Now it is okay to have an upset stomach once in a while, but if you are somebody who faces stomach discomfort, gas, acidity, bloating or constipation very frequently, then these are sure short sure signs that your gut is having a hard time processing the foods that you eat and eliminating waste. And this usually happens when the gut is in a state of dysbiosis and there is an imbalance in the microbial community. either due to gain or loss of microbes or due to a decline in the number of microbes in the gut. So if you are somebody who is facing frequent episodes of stomach discomfort, then it is time to re-evaluate the status of your gut health and undertake ways to fix it. Sudden or unexpected weight gain or weight loss might be a sign of an unhealthy gut or an imbalance in the gut. An imbalanced gut struggles to absorb nutrients, it struggles to maintain good blood sugar balance and it also struggles to metabolize fat effectively. All these collectively can lead to either you gaining weight especially in the abdominal area or sometimes even drastically losing weight. Research has now shown that we have something called the gut-skin axis which is a bi-directional relationship between our gut microbiome and our skin health. A dysbiosis or an imbalance in the gut results in a compromised intestinal barrier. Because of this compromised intestinal barrier, there occurs a leakage of bacterial toxins into the bloodstream which results in an inflammatory immune response in the body which ultimately shows up as skin irritation or rashes. In fact, scientific studies have now established a strong correlation between an imbalance in the gut or dysregulated gut microbiota and inflammatory skin conditions like atopic dermatitis, rosacea or psoriasis. 
while most bacteria in our gut are beneficial, there are some bad and pathogenic strains of bacteria that thrive on simple sugars and simple carbohydrates. If you are somebody who faces excessive sugar cravings and you can't do without sweets after your meals or in between your meals, this could be a sign of poor gut health and dominance or rise in the number of bad bacteria in the gut. And dominance of bad strains of bacteria occurs when poor diet or lifestyle practices has resulted in depletion of the good strains of bacteria and overgrowth or dominance of the pathogenic bacteria in the gut. Just like there is a gut skin axis, there also exists a gut brain axis which is a bi-directional channel via which our gut microbiota communicates with our brain and vice versa. In a scientific study, the gut microbiota of people with and without insomnia or poor sleep quality was compared and a clear difference in the composition of gut microbiota between these two groups was found. It was found that people with insomnia had fewer number of good bacteria like lactobacillus and they had higher number of undesirable strains of bacteria in the gut. This study established a relationship between our sleeplessness or insomnia and our gut health. Not just that, most of our hormone serotonin is produced in our gut by our gut microbes. And serotonin is a hormone that regulates our mood and our sleep. Hence, it is also common in people with gut disorders to face issues like anxiety, mood disorders or mental health related problems. Let's take a quick recap of the five most common signs and symptoms of an unhealthy gut. A frequently upset stomach, unintentional weight gain or weight loss, skin rashes or skin irritations, excessive sugar cravings, moodiness, irritability and insomnia. Other than these five common signs and symptoms, signs such as excessive fatigue, bad breath, certain autoimmune conditions or intolerance to certain foods are also quite common in people with gut related issues. You may experience one or more of these signs and symptoms when you are dealing with an unhealthy gut. I have another video on things that you should be doing and foods that you should be eating that will help in healing your gut. I will leave a link to the video in the description box. That's all from me for today's video. Before I end the video, I would like to say that we now know a lot more about our gut health than we did 20 years back and we know that good gut health is the key to good overall health, be it our physical health or mental health. Therefore, please do not ignore signs and symptoms of an unhealthy gut and try to fix it before these signs and symptoms worsen even further. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, do drop a comment in the comment section and do give the video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care until then. Bye.